Oh, let's get the fallacy detector going and see what happens. <laughs> We're going to break it. Between him and Byron Donalds, the thing is going to need to get paid overtime. You know, right? We're going to have to charge it again. Just yeah. charge it. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be some bit more. Jesus. Please donate to our fallacy detector. The poor thing. Uh, just it's getting by on a wing and a prayer, some scotch tape, a couple of rubber bands, a safety pin. Uh, Only glue, right. thumbtacks. <laughs> it, it's not. It's not I'm pretty. Not. It's not pretty. Chugging along. And some of that blue tech is chewing gum. What's that? And blue tech, but some of the blue tech chewing gum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't have enough. The power lasts as long as fruit stripe. I was going to say it's fruit stripe gum. <laughs> <laughs> like have a tattoo on it. Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, Senator, great to have you here because you and your your fellow Senate Republicans mostly voted against this, arguing that it's a, a show vote. But Donald Trump, as you know, recently pledged to either have insurance companies or the government pay for fertility treatments. So, would you have voted for a bill like this if he was in office? Well, Caitlin, first off, I have to correct almost everything you said in the lead in there, almost none of which was accurate about this bill. First off, there's no risk to IVF in this country. All 49 Republican senators, along with President Trump, support IVF. No state restricts or bans IVF. Second, this bill was about a lot intro, more than okay, just IVF. Uh, you, you said that it had to guarantee access. Gu access is guaranteed in all 50 states right now. You also said that it was about IVF. It's about a lot more than IVF. This bill would mandate coverage for experimental controversial procedures like cloning or gene editing or providing fertility treatments to men who think they're women, whatever that means. It would also imperil religious liberty. I support IVF. As uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Just just fucking lies. They know that the American public is not going to read the pork inside of the bill. So they think that no. they can say that that's inside the bill and people will believe them. And what check? So that was just easy to call out. Cripes. As President Trump does. We also think that we should allow, say, Christian hospitals to operate their affairs as they see fit, according to the dictates of their conscience. Now, it's not surprising that the Democrats don't agree with that. They've long persecuted Christians, conscience, like the little eh? sisters. Not, of the not a set of regulations or laws like the rest. What was that? Oh, he, he, he wants uh, churches, uh, sorry, hospitals to to administer care on, on the basis of their conscience, not any set of laws or regulation yeah they, they want them to yeah. base their medical decisions off of fairy tales yeah yeah fairy tales and emotion instead of the need of the patient and you know, and just oh my god brilliant, I hear brilliant them thinking say that you know according to our conscience and all i hear is people are going to die Mm -hmm. Because they disagree yep. with their hair color or, you know, who they're holding hands with or what their family looks like. Yeah. Just stupid, shallow shit that doesn't matter anyway, when what should matter is keeping that person that means everything to someone alive. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not that difficult a concept. Mm -hmm. Contraception coverage for nuns. Okay, Senator, or they've harassed can, can Catholics for going to traditional masses. That's what this bill's about, Caitlin. No, Caitlin, you're not going to stop you me there because you're misrep. Um, this is where he has to stop. He has to stop you right fucking there. Yeah, yeah, because these, these motherfuckers need to learn who shows today. They are. Just nothing but straight up deflection because she's starting to call yeah. him out, and he's like, "No, no, no, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that." You're incorrect because Republicans can't take the fucking L. 
ever. And it's so disrespectful. He's calling into her fucking show. He's the guest. And he's up there, like, bossing her around and saying, oh, no, no, I'm going to do this. The fuck is that? It's so disrespectful. It's so She's there doing her job. Mm-hmm. What a dick. He wouldn't do that to a dude, I don't think. Yeah. You know, just uh, pull yeah. over him like that. I don't think he'd do that to Sean Hannity. Mm-hmm, but he feels fine <laughs> doing it to Caitlyn here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no problem at all. Mm. Fuck him. Representing what the bill is about. The well, bill is about infringing upon religious liberty. Let's have a conversation about this bill and this legislation itself. You're religious saying that liberty? what I said was inaccurate, that this would guarantee access to what? IVF, which is what it would do. You're saying that no state... Uh, restricts it, but no state, you know, guarantees it. The issue, which I know well, because this happened in my home state of Alabama, is a court ruling that embryos count as children. And then these IVF clinics, a lot of them closed in Alabama as a result of this, because they're worried about lawsuits or about the state attorney general coming after them. That is why this is an issue. And your candidate, Donald Trump, has said that he would like to, to see IVF and people have access to this. So do you support guaranteeing access to IVF so a ruling like that one in Alabama would not imperil someone's access to it by clinics saying, well, I'm going to close because I'm worried about facing a lawsuit here or criminal charges? Caitlin, the example of Alabama proves my point. You had the Supreme Court of Alabama ruling on an old law, their hands were constrained by law, and what happened? The opposite. The opposite of what you say. Yeah, literally. Like you can you can look this up in two seconds. Yeah, literally the opposite of what you're saying. And it's just shameless. <laughs> yeah. Like because they know they're lying. It's like the we Solzhenitsyn. They no, lie. We they know lie. they're lying. They're, but they know we know we're lying. But still, they. I mean, we know. They know that we know that they're lying. See, there's so much lying. It's like lying inception. Lying. They know that we know that they're lying, but still they lie. Thank you, Solzhenitsyn. <laughs> and he's like, Cotton thinks he's like the Doctor Strange of lying. <laughs> like i've got her hypnotized right where i want her look at her she's believing every word that is the face of somebody who just got called out and her face is somebody who just called him out mm-hmm. she's like i wish a motherfucker would she doesn't That's believe that she's listening to his lie right now and preparing her rebuttal would you say bearing a bird not important. Oh, right on. The political branches of the Alabama government who are elected by and accountable to the people promptly passed a new law that guaranteed access to IVF in Alabama the same way every other state guarantees access to IVF. This bill in the Senate was not about guaranteeing access to IVF, which is not threatened in any state. It was about radical, experimental, controversial treatments, like things like gene editing or cloning, and it infringes upon religious liberties, mm. which again, shouldn't be dis- surprising. But- just lazy. Straight up lies, just because the whole idea of religious liberty, it's always like rules for the not for me. Uh, yeah. If I use my religion to oppress you, it's religious liberty. But if you do it back or call it out, it's persecution. Yeah. Yeah, he said the Democrats have long persecuted the the Christians. Like, in what way? In what way? Because I'm pretty sure in God we trust is on all of our fucking money. Yeah. You know, it's in a pledge of allegiance. How, uh... How exactly? Uh, well, think we've done that? Go ahead. 
the one true God? Just check it. All right, because uh, I'm curious which one. Because I mean, I'm in the Ricky Gervais camp with it. Yeah, I, I always just in. think of that one meme that I saw of the Christian child praying to win the spelling bee and the Hindu child praying to win the spelling bee, and in the middle is just like Shiva and Christ having a wrestling match. <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Okay, now I want to watch God uh, or uh, God-like figure wrestling matches. <laughs> Shiva has the advantage because of the arm. Yeah. Of course. The arm count, which, hey, as far as I'm concerned, if we're using religious mascots in a fight, you know, I mean, uh, at least maybe that helps with aerodynamics with Jesus with the holes in his hands when he's throwing a punch. Well, the other one I'd bring you to that if, if we're going there is Ganesha. Hmm. Kali has entered the building. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity deity fight. <laughs> deity Does death match. <laughs> yes, deity death match, match. indeed. Yeah. yeah. I'll it. Because the Democrats are the party that want to harass and persecute nuns or invest. <laughs> nuns? And you need to be able to. And you need to be able to cross to an old guy in the corner who just goes, who, who opens the book and goes, nope, send the regulations. <laughs> I swear, I trust the dude that hangs outside the barber shop more than this dude. <laughs> My just God. just oozes fucking like it's rotten just, custard. Any chance that he gets is just lies. It's so ridiculous. Investigate Catholics for going to traditional masses. That's why we oppose that bill and we'll continue to oppose it. But Senator, this bill would no. have guaranteed okay. access to IVF. And you're saying that it would have forced people to, to do things against uh, their religious beliefs. I should note this bill doesn't require anyone to, to perform any operations or procedures. It just says that people should have access to IVF. And it also talks about having insurance companies cover the cost for fertility treatments, something that your candidate supports. So just to be clear, I'm not misrepresenting the bill. You can say you don't like it. You can say that you think it's a show vote. You can talk about those aspects of it, but this is something that was put up there and it would have guaranteed access to IVF. So let me ask you while you're here, given you're a major surrogate for the Trump campaign, his proposal here is that he would like to either have the government or, or insurance companies cover the cost for fertility <laughs> treatments. Has the campaign explained to you yet how he would pay for that plan? Let's hear this one. We haven't gotten that far, Caitlin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well. That was some surprise, honestly. We were uh, uh, <laughs> nice deflection. Thank you. Who are they you. planning on getting their shit together? Like we have concepts of a plan, like everything. Because the thing is, is it's Project Twenty Twenty Five. That's the yeah, that's yeah, literally yeah. the answer to everything. But they can't yeah. say that. They can't say it. Yeah. They can say we have a plan, but they can't say any more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like what kind of plan? It, it's a plan-y plan by Plantron, a division they of Plan don't. Tech. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be the planning plan you ever planned. Yes. We will tell you in the near future. <laughs> we'll plan, we'll, we'll plan, plan to tell you in two weeks. <laughs> two yeah. weeks. Yeah, we'll plan to tell you in the near future. <laughs> yeah, well, we have concepts of plans to tell you what our yes, plans exactly. are. We have concepts and plans to tell you about our concepts. <laughs> <laughs> and in two weeks, we have a plan to tell you about our plan. But in two oh. weeks, and we'll, we'll tell you about two weeks up. We'll tell you about our two-week concept. It's conception. Ah, concept about concept. concepts, <laughs> concepts about conception. <laughs> no, they're gonna have those too. Oh shit! Good God! I oh, they're so that. gross and weird. It's too easy. I know. 
I and most other legislators would have questions about the cost of taxpayers or the cost in higher premiums. And, and as always, in ensuring that we respect the religious liberty rights of all Americans. Again, President Trump and I support IVF, as do all no, Republicans. She asked you about how you're going to pay for the IVF. a different plan. point of view, especially if they're a health care provider or work with the Catholic charity and they want their religious liberty respected. That's what we would do. Democrats would not do that. I'm going to go with deflection again because yeah. he has no plan. <laughs> well, he's, he was asked clearly what how was what was the plan to pay for Trump's proposed IVF plan? Yeah, where people get guaranteed access to um, uh, IVF paid for by the insurance company. was going to have to be underwritten by the government and she, she asked him that question he said we haven't got that far then proceeded to deflect and talk bullshit for a about nothing he's special yeah well he's getting caught by her which then makes it so the rest of the internet she's t- she's she can make content about fight. him getting caught by her. <laughs> so if you're an American out there and you're someone who maybe is in Alabama and you're worried about having access to IVF, not because the state is saying that they're going to make it illegal, but because there's no clinics open in the state because they're worried about Supreme Court rulings that, that could imperil access to it. And if the legislature had not acted, which they did under political pressure, if you're someone out there and you're looking at these two candidates here ahead of November, Donald Trump and Vice President Harris, and they see what Trump is saying he'll do, but they're wanting to know, is this real? And if there's no plan to pay or for is it, it how do they know that it's a real proposal? Is it AI? Well, Caitlin, again, I, IVF is not at risk in any state. And the Alabama example proves the point. The legislature acted promptly Why to did change they have to act what if was an old law to ensure something. access to, uh, because of Supreme Court decision. That happens but all the time. That imperiled access courts to IVF. Courts make decisions. What? Caitlin, courts make decisions interpreting laws, often old laws that haven't been updated to reflect changed circumstances all the time, and legislatures come back and they change those laws. That's what happened here. Okay, but my question was Wayne about Fools the, the come plan back to pay for the, the set proposal. You back 50 years. Again, uh, well, we can review those details. If- She's asking you to review them now. And there's another deflection. And she asked you directly to review the details of how it get paid for now. I mean, it's not hard. I mean, if this is not something that Trump just whipped out of his ass because he knows he's still flailing when he, with women voters, it'd be a different story. But this is something he whipped out of his ass because he's flailing with lady voters. And he doesn't have the answer. He's we, tanking with everyone with a, with a brain and a uterus. <laughs> and or or anybody who has empathy for anybody that has one yeah I just know that if they're trying to court the lady vote <laughs> this is not the way to do it yeah it's not the flex you think it is yeah it's like when Trump was at the debate and he was like <laughs> <laughs> I was the one who proudly appointed those Supreme Court judges. It's like, okay, dude, like, yep. go off. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, 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 no. That's my anchor. Tie it around <laughs> my neck. I don't think yeah. you understand. I want all the chain too. I want all the yeah. smoke. Like, yeah. <laughs> please. Mm-hmm. The future time, there's reasonable questions about the cost of it, either the taxpayer and premiums, and how we would protect the religious liberty of all of our citizens. 
But Donald Trump, just like all Senate Republicans and not the health of all most part, most Republicans I know all support IVF. What we don't support are the kind of radical proposals that Kamala Harris has addressed, like on the abortion question. She wants a nationwide abortion law that would mandate all states allow partial birth abortion. Fucking lies. You know it, dude. Like, Wait, did he just say partial birth abortion? Yes, he did. Yeah. He what did. does that even mean? It, it, it's it's like, just a scary word. Yeah, it's, scary, it's just a lie. Like halfway out the cervix? They're like, okay, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. That's good enough. That's enough to co- that's enough to call it a birth. Yeah. Snip. Um, um, I mean, this will do. Have there, they met a woman or a doctor? Have they ever been? No. They need to well, watch their voters are just so low in intelligence video. that they know that if yeah. they just say it, they'll believe it. Because if they just say it, their voters will make an excuse every time. Yeah. Like no matter what there will always be an excuse or a deflection or a lie or because they they can't tell the truth because the truth is project 2025 they can't take the l because they're narcissists and they can't take the l because then that gives away the plan that they have no plan other than project 2025 (laughs) this is so circular yeah Everyone knows the truth. Everyone involved knows the truth and no one can say it. And that's the whole like thing about a fascist cult. I mean, like same with Nick Fuentes. He learned real hard that, you know, I mean, once you're in, you're in. Same with Kyle Rittenhouse. Up to the moment of birth and deny life-saving care for any child who is born during a botched abortion. It's such a lie. That's what's truly radical. And of course, as you know, she wants Roe versus Wade codified into law, which would go up to, to viability about 24 weeks. Senator Tom. What I know is that she won't time. answer a single she won't answer a question about Senator what kind of, she won't answer a question about what month it is appropriate to reasonably protect the rights of unborn right. children. And, is it the eighth month? Is it the ninth month? She won't answer any of those questions, Caitlin, because she knows I, that her radical views on these questions are out of step with the American people. And Senator Tom Cotton, Donald Trump did not say on that debate stage as well when she didn't answer that question if he would veto a national abortion ban. We're out of time, unfortunately, Senator Tom Cotton. Thank you very much. Oh, my Lord. He started lying and she kicked him off. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck him. He started lying and she kicked him off. That was fantastic. That's a sour looking Trump face up there oh yeah um, there's a lot of sad things happening in in trump land right now oh yeah i listen man my meds his nunt was looking especially disturbing the other day 